Hello, welcome for what could be, just maybe, the last time to the Campaign Coins Twitch and or YouTube channel where we are playing Beowulf Age of Heroes Horror at Harrogate. Uh, there it is, Beowulf Age of Heroes. What a book, what a fancy looking book it is and contained within that is where you'll find a setting and rules variation for the world's greatest role-playing game for one GM and one player. We've been having a great time here in the Campaign Coins channel. Speaking of which, we are Campaign Coins and we do make rather excellent metal tokens and coins and props that you can use to enhance your role-playing experience. There they are at CampaignCoins.com. Um, if you're just joining us, we're getting ready for an epic showdown and you can see the backdrop of that, of course, at uh, YouTube.com slash Campaign Coins. You see previous episodes and previous streams. Um, we will be listening to selections from the official Beowulf Age of Heroes soundtrack from Handiwork Games, as well as music and sounds from Sirenscape. Sirenscape.com is where we pull all of those uh, tasty sounds. And I think that is everything from me for perhaps the last time this scenario, but uh, we should have a good time. I'll throw it over to our excellent Game Master Mike. Mark. Mike Mark. All right. Listen. What? It's quiet now. The anguished howl of Arn, false hero, kind man, undead monstrosity, has faded from my mind where it rang out for me and me alone to hear. Rage at vengeance denied. For while I soundly beat his lying, murderous father, blade to bloodied blade, that pitiful excuse for a man that chose the shame of exile over the death he so deserved. It was a choice I offered freely and one that may yet doom me and mine to an end more terrible than I care to dwell upon, torn asunder in the fetid, dripping moor of monstrous Arn. I do not regret it, that choice, because we do what is right, not what is easy. Arn will come for us, for me. And I must confess to you, I do not think we have much time. It's quiet now. This story is ending, and I would have you listen. And listen, they shall. Thank you, Bledsworth. Ah, we cannot enjoy the standing ovation, but that was put hairs up on end. But there will be no less terrible a reckoning. I have got out the skull dice tray. Oh. That is how serious shit is. Yeah. I have got out the Q Workshop dice macabre. They're made okay. of skulls, Alex. It's okay. just skulls. Just all skulls? The way down. No. All skulls. Just death. All right. Amazing. It seems Bladesworth is calm and composed as... One of us has every, to be. Everybody watches Forfin, the secret murderer, the cowardly assassin on his small boat rowing out across the bay, leaving Harrogate forever, leaving Harrogate without a yarl. And now... Uh, well, well, says Frode. Uh, I, I, I think that uh, we, we sh should. Uh, who went into exile and made you, Jarl? Says Ursa, flicking a look at Hilda. And Hilda said, uh, "Now is the time to prepare." Uh, Bladeswift, what, what should we do? The, the blade. His broken blade, I, I I have an inkling that we may need to repair it to defeat him, the blade that he he used in that last fateful uh, venture that he went on. Um, I would have it repaired if, if we may. I would face him with that. Um, well, Hilda says, you you should ask Bo, perhaps oh, not, not me. Yes, that's going to go down really. What? What happened there to that? Should I? Should I not? No, no, I'm not going to ask. They they competed for my love, and they both okay. lost. Yeah. Hmm. How long ago was that? Oh, eight years. Jeez. Do you um, need a hobby? On and off. I got sick of it. After a while, yeah. you just stop listened. Mm -hmm. But. They need hobbies. I have something else. 
and I have, I need to confirm something. And she walks over and she picks up Forfin's sea axe, which mm-hmm. is dropped upon the ground in shame. Uh, he was. Oh, know, yeah, he wasn't taking that with him. His weapons were left behind. And you notice now as she reaches down, she, she's been wearing a, a necklace this whole time, a little leather thong, and she pulls it up, pulls it up, pulls it up. She's actually got the tip of a blade Ooh. upon she's been wearing it. And now yeah. she picks up his axe and slots it exactly in the huh. very tip. I found this in the heart of my friend. Oh. Fun. That is, that is, wow. So he, hmm. I, I always this will not. This will not stand. Nope. This cannot stand. Hmm. Good luck. And Hilda. Hmm. Is off to get Ursa's boat. Okie dokie. Um, I'm gonna, just going to be Hilda. Hilda, one moment, Hilda. Um, I, I, the, the prophecies uh, that have been bearing down upon me since your village came into sight uh, do mention specifically a, a broken blade. Uh, one that I would be break my spear in that murderer's head. Lovely. He's the um, ruination of my friend. He cannot be allowed to leave. But we have sent him into exile. That is the law, says Frode. I will show you the law, says Hilda. Would I be able to grab the blade and the broken bit? Uh, might mend that one too. Uh, she, she gives it to you freely. Thank you. But Ursa is kind of, you know, putting a hand upon her. Hilda, it's just all too much. She just wants to get straight out there in the bay and, and chase him down, which will make her a murderer too. Hilda, that, that won't bring Arn back and I I fear I may need may need you on side this evening when Arn returns. It was you who, who calmed him previously. It was it was the truth of your friendship that uh, that helped him uh, that drove him back when he was when he was murdering and, and destroying his home. I fear your presence here will will save people's lives. And if you leave, he does not deserve a warrior's death. He does not deserve to be fought and killed right. in battle. So you are speaking wise words, but Hilda has flipped the biscuits. Um, but what you're doing is kind of recruiting her to be a follower. Possibly not, possibly not forever, but it's definitely possibly like just for, I, just for an I need you yeah, just for one I day to be a hero. Um, <laughs> so sorry. Um, uh, so you need to recruit yes. her. Uh-huh. Now that is a persuasion. The difficulty is fifteen. Okay, now okay. let's let's have a, a quick check in on the state of your mm-hmm, inspiration because mm-hmm. yeah. we're going to need a lot of that shit tonight. I um, am. You used one to uh, do your metal uh, and got yourself some temporary hit points. I have looked up the rules in the well. Oh yeah. It's a favorite game and temporary hit points last until you have a long rest. So Correct. as long as you don't get eight hours kip, those are in hand. I mean, so, it's the same day. We good. It is, that one. Okay, Howard, you've still got one left, which is, I believe, uh, that's the talisman, the talisman inspiration. Mm-hmm. You've still got mm-hmm. um, woven and mended. You still haven't used up your followers, I don't think. Uh-huh. I haven't used up my followers and once. Woe upon you, Bladesworth, and everyone you love. Oh, you haven't used that yet. Before the show, Jackson reminded me that I killed two of his followers, so, you know, let's see how it goes. All awesome. right. <laughs> what? Okay, so uh, see if you can recruit her. Do you want to use your inspiration on um, this, or do you want to? Uh, I think wake I do. Up one of your I think followers? I do. No, I think, I think I do some... because what I want inspiration for, I would rather a follower do it anyway. So, like this is like the the other stuff that I'm kind of gearing towards. I think is okay. going to be better actually um, if I can recruit Hilda. 
Yes, but uh, Maida, Maida can speak some poetry. I think yes. Scott can exactly. that would I feel like spend it. them, so you'd be trading. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I'm I'm the best one to to speak to if I'm recruiting. I feel like I will spend my inspiration to recruit uh Dear Hilda. All right, good luck. Difficulty is 15, persuasion roll, all the best. Uh-huh. Oh boy. Cha ching. That is uh hmm. Where is it? Over here. 16. All right. Did you choose your old ways dice? My old ways dice. Oh, 12. There you go. All 12 right. 12 plus 4. And everybody get down to Beck's new web store. Mythic yeah. She's, I think she's got like two things left from her last release. It doesn't stick around long. That's because she's a bit good. Uh, a, bit, a wee bit good. Nice. All right. Beck and so. You have spoken squarely and fairly. Uh, you've used your inspiration, but because you chose, you rolled two to 20, you chose your old ways ties, it means you get inspiration back. Cha-ching, because you're an effing hero. That's oh, yeah, how we roll here. So um, I have to give her something. Hilda to looks as Thorfinn rowing away and say, may he die miserable and alone. You are right. And so the sea monster gets him. Here I am with the woman I love and a woman I admire. Women I admire. And she looks at your left-hand woman and your right-hand woman, yes. Annika and Gita. Yeah, and Gita yeah. says, being an outlaw is shit. Thank you for your so contribution, that's, Gita. Yep. That's, her, that's uh, her done. That's her that's done her, for yep, that's, yeah, yep. She always peaks early, Gita. Yeah, yeah <laughs> she gets it over with. <laughs> All um, right. But I have to offer her something so, too, don't I? I have to offer her a. Uh, under the circumstances, I, she's. Um, well, yeah, what I'd probably do is hold out the pieces, the pieces of Arn's axe to her, and, mm-hmm. and you know, the implication being that I have these mended, and I, this is your friend's weapon. I return it to you. I would accept that with honor, and always remember him as he was. But now. We must deal with what he is. All right. So you're going to talk to Bo. We are. Bo. Um, possibly not Bo Hilda. the blacksmith. Possibly not um, Ursa. Possibly not Ursa, um, but I will bring my followers with me. All right. Um, now, you have seen that uh, Bo uh, has a, uh, he has the cross. He mm-hmm. has a follower of the book. So, uh, so Gita is coming with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So oh, you go Gita. and see Bo with the weapon mm-hmm. pieces. Yep. I'm going to go see Bo and I'm going to bring um, the scop as well. Okay. Need him. Um, now, Bo, being a bit of a suck, really, he actually mm-hmm. went down, uh, got some food. Uh, he couldn't get food for Forth and that was illegal, but he kind of saw him off. Yeah, you know. yeah. So um, so he's uh, kind of still standing watching him go, and then you walk up. <sighs> Everything sh- changed when you arrived. When I arrived? Not when the monster showed up and started massacring villages every evening? Yes. Things have been bad for a while. Let's hope we can get Figure. some stability back. I do not know without a yard to leave us. Well, I've only been here a matter of days, but I have yet to speak to a, a, a single soul amongst you down here in the village who is not steadfast, honourable, loyal and deeply caring about the welfare of everybody else in the village so at Harrogate. So I think I think you have plenty of good candidates for Yal. All right. And you've accidentally said something which was pretty Christian. <laughs> you have literally spoken his language. You've talked about humility and care and love. So he, you get a solid nod for that. A little bit of a... He doesn't have a goatee, but he's got some mad sighties. Check him he's, out. He's got some. He, that is some good facial hair. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, Bo, right. Bo has the best facial hair yeah, possibly yeah. anybody passing through has ever seen. 847 Blacksmith 2017 could have been a barista. Mm. All right. You are going to ask him a favour. I am. Um, and, and I'll bring out the um, pieces of the two, the two weapons mm-hmm. and present them to him. I think we may need one or both of these uh, to defeat the creature that, that Arn has become to give him the rest that his soul deserves. All right. Now, Can so, um, yeah, uh, you've, you've got Gita there um, yeah. and she's uh, kind of looking at him uh, and uh, it's a Charisma 13 persuasion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So Charisma oh, yeah. uh, difficulty 13. Too mm-hmm, many mm-hmm. acronyms. Too many, too many things within things within things. Um, Gita, Gita will kind of nod and back up what I'm saying with um, right. she's got a Bible verse she'll whip out, which I <laughs> would have no idea about, but a, she certainly does. Verse. And, yeah. and she, she whips one out and it's great. Uh, now she's used up a dialogue, yeah. but she does a bit of a prayer hands. That's all she can master. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. So uh, good luck with your role with advantage. Mm-hmm. Oh, 13, hey, eight. What is just thirteen? Wow! Oh, and not on my, <laughs> not on my, not on my old ways dice on my on my other one. All right. Well, you nevertheless, it's it's just because you got off on a bad foot, and he was always, oh, yeah. you know, he probably would have done it, but now he definitely says, "I see the need, and I'm tired of making nails or weapons that cannot hurt this thing." What do you want? An axe, a sword, or a spearhead? Uh, sword. Oh, we'll get to it. Definitely a sword. God, get your useless skinny ass over here and work the bellows for me. Well, sure. All right. Sure. So uh, like, you, don't need a, you don't need a boat built to, uh, <laughs> to no. build the monster. All right. They begin to work stripped to the waist. Uh, sweating as heating the metal uh, and the axe head of Arn is melted down. The sea axe tip uh, of uh, Forfin is melted down and they begin to make the sword. It's going to be a bit of a roughy sword in a day. See how it goes. They're going to be at that until dusk. Yeah. What's the plan, Bladesworth? Um, it's morning now, but you cannot stop mm-hmm. the sun. And when yeah, the sun have... goes down, yeah. Arn is going to kill everyone. Well, um, I'm probably going to find uh, Hilda and Ursa first. Mm. Um, now, uh, of course, you have a new follower. Mm-hmm. You have Hilda. Hilda I is do. a follower. I Just do. to make things uh, easy, she's uh, her stats are pretty much hikey. So okay, she's cool. got. Um, add she and can. Hilda. She can engage. Uh, she can throw a spear and she can take a blow. Um, so that is. Uh, she's there for you. Love um, it. And uh, Ursa is kind of sidelining Frode, already manoeuvring. There's a bit of politicking going on. That's what I was thinking there might be. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not so much a democracy sausage as a democracy as, uh, fish fry up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Frode, Frode looks like he's angling for for Yarl. Well, he's always run the place more or less. But, yeah, especially uh, recently. Yeah. Anyway, however, that's that's for when I, everyone's not that, dead. I mean, yeah, that feels like a, a future people problem. I'm going to you say You do as take much. it as a vote of confidence from Ursa, who said yeah. you were a dickhead the first time she uh-huh. saw you and yeah. now seems to rate you as someone who's going to kill an indestructible exactly. monster. Exactly. So, it's hey. it's good that they're planning for tomorrow. It's good that they think there's <laughs> going to be a tomorrow. I like this vibe. That's, that's a positive vibe for the village. However, I am going to suggest uh, that everybody stays in the... In the longhouse tonight, yep. just okay. barricade yourselves in. If you're Alrighty. if you're not um, wielding a sword with me uh, or an axe or whatever, what have you with me? Uh, barricade yourself in. Um, um, 
There were those two warriors that always guarded the door. Mm-hmm. So you've you've got them, uh, and they can barricade and stand at the door. Yes. Um, assuming it's going to be okay because they stuck through fourth and thick and thin. Were they in on the murder plot? You don't know. Maybe um, he's gone, so he is gone. They don't really and have a lot of incentive to kind of yeah, yeah, extra right. up. Okay, so uh, people are, you know, doing what they can to help, which is not a great deal, but they are moving kind of more things and supplies. They're mm. looking to shore up any uh, any parts of the longhouse from previous battle. Frode's actually doing a good job mm. of getting everybody, giving them something to do yeah. that's going to be for the safety. Obviously, he's where his uh, candidature is on the line. Um, yes. So uh, is there any particular follower of yours that you want to leave on um, longhouse duty tonight? Are you going to split anybody up? You've got the full seven now. I think I shall. All um, seven. That's fantastic. I think I will leave somebody on longhouse duty. Just, it's killing um, Jackson inside. He was a first-level hero with five followers. You've got seven. I know. I will. There you um, go. Yeah, I reckon I will. I will leave somebody on longhouse duty just because... Um, I I don't 100% trust those two. Um, So I might leave. No. Um, Heike's giving you that look. uh, No, I'm not going to leave Heike there because I always leave Heike behind. I always leave Heike behind. There's a reason Um, you're leaving behind. Do you know what? No, he'll hate me for it. Uh, But it'll be funny. Um, I'm going to leave. Just having a look, swiftly having a look at everything. Um, she's the only oh, Christian inversion. No, I'm going to leave um, Mida. No, no, I'm not. Hang on, she's got a thing. I'm not going <laughs> to. This is just me furiously scrolling up and down and seeing what my followers do. Um, do you know what? Everybody is going to hate this. Just everybody involved is just going to hate every second of this, but I'm going to leave Simo behind. Simo is already standing there. I'm going to leave Simo behind. <laughs> everybody is going to hate every minute of this, but he's he's actually, yeah. Finally. Yeah. I mean, he can engage. He is a, he is also a warrior. Like, he's got All right. Simo he's got turns. He's just Simo turns to one of the two warriors and said, it's going to be a lot of blood. You might want to look away. It's the kind of thing that's going to scar you. <laughs> Terrible death. All right. So, however, so that so that means you you feel you have seen to the safety of everyone. But what is the plan, Bladsworth? Uh, because you have all, all day to plan. Yeah. As um, oh boy. the monster. Oh, boy. Will um, you confront it? Will it come yeah. to you? What will occur? Okay. Yeah, let's go find it. Let's go. It's daytime. It's probably weaker in the daytime. It might not be. Let's find out. All right. Your okay. sword is not ready. Oh, as soon as, yeah, as soon as the sword's ready. I want the sword. Um, um, yeah. yeah, I reckon, okay, I think for the for the rest of the day, until at least until the sword is ready, um, because I can't really charge into battle until the blade is ready, mm-hmm. um, I will ask my crew to just um, get ready to cast off if 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 they see Arn coming, basically just get out of here. Okay. If if Arn right. makes it to the docks, you know, oh. like oh. give me give me enough time to like give me a day to, to in case I'm not dead. But you know, don't basically I don't want the crew to sac- the, the longboat crew to sacrifice themselves. Oh, they are they, sailors, they not are, warriors. All right, they um, simultaneously and I will actually, disappointed talk, and relieved. Mm, I will talk to. Um, I'll probably talk to, um, because I'd, I'd have somebody who's like a like would be close to a, a first mate or somebody who was like oh, chief yeah, sailor. Like, yeah, for yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. And I would I would tell him you know if okay. if something if if it befalls us um, and none of none of my followers oh, so are that's, I, that's ale, 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 uh, ale, take the take the long ship back home. And consider, uh, you know, your journey. Journey's done. You know the rewards that um, are left there for you. Basically, uh, basically, uh, bleeds with family will reward them in the event of my death. 
It, it will not come to that. Uh, hmm. Okay, so he that's, man, God, the crew. Hmm. Imagine being an extra on seven episodes of Blade Whiff and you get a line. And a name. Amazing. Fucking right on the IMDb Incredible, profile. Incredible, right on the end. Ale. Um, <laughs> Fantastic. And I think, I think I'll probably warn... Want Ursa to keep her eyes open tonight uh, in in the longhouse. Um, that it seems like there might be some politicking going on, and I would hate for anything to happen to her to get it Hilda. If if people are jumping the gun a bit there, hey, the pledge with hey. If Hilda gets killed, you haven't seen any fucking haunting yet. You'll have That's me fair. to deal with. That is perfectly fair. But thanks I for everything expect, you've done. I would expect nothing less. All right. So, yeah, uh, excellent threats. Lovely. Love it. Spiky to the end, but she's going to do exactly what yeah. you asked for. Uh, and so the day goes on. Everybody is, like, um, beside mm-hmm. themselves, like, what I to know. do. Just, as... And I'm just sitting there, like, outside the blacksmith's, <laughs> like, nah. Yeah, the, the, the crew like running trying. drills as to how fast they can get the boat <laughs> yeah, into the water. Like and off trying again. to be patient outside the outside yeah. the forge, just like Scott really wants a drink. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, uh, anyway, um, uh, finally, now let's see how Bo goes with this. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have any? You don't have a blacksmith among your followers, do you? Um, got I, a don't, I don't. I don't. I um, don't. Okay. But I do right. have. I guess I've got. Um, I've got some follower inspiration, and I've got um, Gita, who is oh, no, a carpenter. No, this is is more a no one to give him a, an advantage on on his that's, role yeah. to get this done. That's what I mean. Um, is I'm more than happy yeah. to send Gita as a as a. I mean, she's a carpenter, not a blacksmith, but. She's no, a she's no. a tradesperson, and all, all all she can do is just kind of look at him and you know pray. Get it done, way. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, she can. She can pray. That's for sure. Maybe that'll. She, maybe maybe her prayers will will make him feel better about the process and and yeah. a bit more strength into his arm. All right. Well, all she'll just kind of. I mean, she follows the book because she believes mm. in in forgiveness uh, and mercy, which is weird enough That's because true. of the unspecified and terrible crime which made her an outlaw, which mm. you I don't think I've ever asked about, and she hasn't told you. No. Uh, but so also is- during the day, Annika will come to you and say. I gave you my hand. Yes. Now, Monster 2, did you ever work out what Monster 2 was, Alex, or should we just choose a random page from this oh, book? Oh, boy. Um, no, I didn't. All right. Okay. Monster 2. All right. Monster 2 was a lift flogger. A what air, now? An air dragon. A fucking Sexy. air dragon. Hell yeah. yeah, of course I've seen dragons. Yeah, yeah, a lift flogger. That's so good. Uh, so that thing was terrorizing people and swooping down, and it mm. came at you from behind. And the only reason you're real alive is that Annika took the blow, mm. put her shield up. She did. Shield was bitten off. Arm, arm, uh, was, not bitten. arm hand, hand was bitten, was bitten off. off. <laughs> but yep. she saved your life, and she'll do it again. Mm. And we've got some very nice new shields that um, strap in. Yeah. But. Nobody got paid for the whale, so make sure there's some treasure. Oh, yeah. That cave is going to be. All right. You are now making a role for Bo, who is an NPC, but he is inspired by Gita, the Christian warrior. So he needs to roll a nat 15, but we're going to give you advantage. Um, Good luck. I'm just going to move the cat. He's not going to fail to do this. Sorry, darling. It's we're just seeing if it's late, late afternoon. Yeah, or just dusk. how not how good how good it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! It's Was not it? my it's not my 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 fortune dice, but that is you're saying you're saying the book dice. You're saying you're saying Jesus gave you a twenty. That is Jesus. Jesus came through for a twenty. Fucking there you go. When it counted. Uh, so the, the faith of the book. Bo is, he's been working through some things. He Also, he's somewhat delirious. He's effectively in a sweat lodge right now, stripped mm. to the waist, mm. sweating away, uh, and uh, and maybe hallucinating slightly. But he is making a sword like a man possessed and kind of beating all of, all of the shit out of himself 
you know, mm. like pining after Hilda and, and thinking about Arne and he's, he's processing as a follower of the book that perhaps he has not looked within himself uh, to think better of others because that little pep talk he gave him. So you have shamed him and inspired him yep. to be a better person. Yeah. And finally he comes, he gives Gita the sword and Gita brings the sword to uh, you. Amazing. It's, it's not pretty. That's fine. But it is sharp and that it is, is heavy. And there is still, you can just kind of sense uh, the, the different kind of metals that have gone into it. Mm. The the story, and it is the story of Arn. It is the story of his, the life that he did not wish to leave. It's the story of his cowardice, but it's also the story of his generosity because of mm. the way he lifted this young boy, Scop and rewarded him and made him into the the, the young man he is now. Uh, it is a it is his bravery in standing up to his father and the betrayal he was murdered. So this sword represents him at his best and at his worst. And Bo has done a bang up job. Nat 20. This yeah. is a sword. <laughs> All right. It's late afternoon. The rules change. It is. You can do what you want. What's the plan? Up the hill. Off we go. Before All it gets right. too dark, before he comes out to meet us, before he gets a chance to, to lop the heads off and chow down on any more villagers, off we go. All right. Off you go. You and your six followers, which means the seven of you. So it's exactly the, the Ingmar Bergman kind of seven seal look as you're, you're going in black and white up a hill as the grass is blowing uh, in the distance, heading off for your dance with death. Uh, yeah. Didn't think I'd get an Ingmar Bergman uh, reference in there tonight, but now I've got to watch it again. Yeah. Uh, so up the hill you go. And behind you there is... No! As Simo realizes his terrible death is being stolen from him. Sorry. Uh, sorry, stolen from them. They are down there on nanny duty, and you're up here slaying monsters. So be it. Sucks to be them. We might all, right. all die, then it's down to you. <laughs> all right. I need to uh do a little things down here on the uh the battle mat table. Uh, you may yeah. freestyle how you feel, uh, Bladesworth. Um, I think Bladesworth is pretty pretty quiet at this point, and her followers are probably aware that um, she's not. She's she's one of those people who thinks about what she's going to say, says a lot of words, and then doesn't really say much else. Um, she's not prone to idle chatter. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think before a battle, in particular, she's she's quiet. Uh, uh, as we as we huff and puff our way up the hill, um, there's probably a, a truly malevolent uh, wind uh, whipping our hair about and, and, and nice. picking, picking up the sand from the from the shore and tossing the grasses about and it's all uh, there'd be no point talking anyway to just be swallowed up by the wind. Uh, those of you who are just tuning in, of course, you know Alex has. Blades with, but also an impeccable dungeon master of years of experience. Just finishing up Avernus, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. Last couple of sessions, I think. I think. I think. We'll see. Alrighty. Is there a plan? No. Have they made many terrible mistakes already? Yes. <laughs> I'm just absolutely just very quickly rereading all of the cool shit Blazeworth can do. <laughs> no reason. Um, I've already used Mighty Metal um, to get my temp hit points. That's fine. I've got a couple all of right. that I can still... So we have some visuals. Uh, we have a uh, 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 fantastic uh, printable map uh, of the graveyard. Uh, fine, 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 John Hodgson artwork. Um, there it is, uh, the barrow in which Arne lies. And you have described, you've been doing my job while I was out, uh, the sense of coldness and, and hostility. 
pain and and loss and rage emanating in cold waves from that forsaken hill. Of course, you are threading through the other uh, tombstones Mm -hmm. uh, in this graveyard, Mm -hmm. uh, but the barrow is where you are headed. The barrow in which Thorfinn should have been buried alongside his wow. son, should have thought about not murdering him. Yeah. Uh, if you want to Also, kind of glad he, yeah, didn't die and we didn't have to bury him. That would have been, mm. All right, mm. so we've got uh, Bladeswift to the front, your line of warriors behind you waiting to be told what to do, how to deploy. Are you going to go into the barrow? Are you yes. going to wait outside um, for... I'll probably I'd like to drop. Give him a give him a yell. Um, yeah, I go give him give him a give him a yell um, and and call out. Um, Arn, your restless spirit has hurt those you love most. Come out. We put it to rest here and now. All and I'm gonna right. hold the hold the sword out and hold the blade out and the, allow the wind to kind of. Uh, ripple off the ocean up towards up towards us and across the across the blade and right. indeed you are standing on the high hill and mm-hmm. behind you is the glittering sea uh, down below the lights of Harrogate as people are rushing into the longhouse but they want to see you know they want to know uh, but they are being all shepherded in uh, uh, Simo being a complete tool is unbelievably great at catching people who are trying to sneak out to watch the fight sure so he is. everybody is being hustled into safety um, your, your warriors are there with you like kind of standing behind you but you know Annika is itching to stand up beside you or if there are any other kind of other instructions. Mm. Otherwise, they're there to support you. I definitely um, want um, <coughs> Hilda and Annika on either side of me. Uh, like, so is, they'll be in the fight yep. with me. So right. Hilda and Scop, Annika. Scop is clearing his throat. <sighs> all, he's, all, he's, all he's got is his courage and his beautiful singing voice. Mm. Um, and, uh Yeah. Uh, Maida is open. She doesn't have to get too involved. And, of course, yeah, there's there's Hilda. Uh, You have called out Arn. Arn is dead. Arn is no more. What was Arn is gone. What is here is death and malevolence and horror. And yet fog begins to seep out through the rocks of the Barrow, the temperature begins to drop. Uh, Maida shivers, but you know her spear rattles. But you know she's she's ready to be here. Um, so uh, you know everyone is kind of gathering to you. I see Maida is prophetic. Yes, wow. that's why I brought her with me. Well, okay, right, okay, nice. That's why nice she's one. here. And what, okay, you can, I, I didn't even know about that. You can tell me what it does when the time comes. Uh, yeah, Bale is yeah. great. You've got all these followers and you can recruit the ones to balance up your party, but they're very quick to use. They are here for you now as you have called the monster out before nightfall and the monster is bringing the night, uh, which becomes a bit of a worry because as the fog starts to thicken, how are you gonna see it? Like so, how are you gonna? We what's gonna go on? Uh, it's it's more a fog situation, uh, and yeah. you would have torches, of course. You're, you're in eight forty seven, going out at night. Yeah, of course, you take exactly. a torch. Don't have an iPhone. Yeah. Uh, so um, now that you suddenly realise, I have called the monster out before dark. Yeah. Uh, if unless I misunderstood your plan, Alex, it seemed like you were saying, "Fucking let's go." Yes, uh, absolutely. Or, Yep. Okay. Great. So it's it's going to be foggy, which means you won't quite know where it is. So what's your plan? Uh, right. Plan. Yeah. Come anyway. We, we had the fog last time. We had the fog mm-hmm. before. Um, mm-hmm. I think um, I'll just make sure that. Uh, let's go with uh, Mida. Yeah. Uh, Mida. Gita and the Scop can all light torches. Yeah. So that we've we've at least got something to cut through the fog. Okay. That's still going to bring a bit of a bit of a light to the gloom and hopefully burn a I'm bit of. I'm just going to say, I just have to say, 
I have to say Hilda's lit one because a goddamn miniature house. Oh, she's one. got one, yeah, yeah. And, and you know what? That, she's she's good enough. She can have one any chance. Um, also, although if it's not going to impact anyone's ability to actually engage, then no, nah, that's one. fine. It's fine. Everyone gets um, one. I'm particularly Everyone fond of this torch. figure because it's really a cool. Gre- a Grenadier Advanced Dungeons and Dragons figure from the 80s huh. from a box which was called Females because oh, in wow. the old days of AD&D, the it's 80s. like. What is that? What, what a is female. this? My they God. are, we've just, uh, we've just given them all longer <laughs> hair and a waist. Yeah, so here she is. Incredible. Love you. Kicking ass. Kicking ass. Still kicking ass. Kickin ass. And uh, ready to stab a former friend. Kicking um, ass decades later. Love to see it. So are you getting closer to the barrow is what I'm asking. Are you trying to stop this thing as it comes out or are you? Are you yeah, yeah. I want to fight it like in the doorway so it can't circle us around all right okay so yeah, the doorway is get... doorway is this massive rock okay? yeah it's going to come out on this side which is going to come out on that side you can only okay. be on one of those sides and i'm going to coin flip where sweet one comes from so choose i'm going to choose um the side closest to your lovely compass there all right thank because... you that solves the whole left right zoom yes problem. compass all or right. not compass so you are there. Who is going to stop on the other side? Who's going to be oh, that's gonna be, be the person that's, to take the blow? It's got to be. It's got to be Hilda. It's got to be Hilda All on the other right. side. Okay. All right. So. All right. And uh, how? Who's who's joining? Um, You've got these two teams. Just for a moment, when shit goes down, then of course yeah, you can... there's going to be like one step between like one mm-hmm. one round, but they have to get to us. Um. I'm going to pop uh, Heike with me, Annika with Hilda, because Annika is my right-hand woman. Um, uh, Gita with them and Mida and the Scop with me. No, yes, Mida and the Scop with me. Uh, uh, okay, the Scop is just kind of almost between the two behind the yeah. behind the boulder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. He's got to it see is- what happens so we can write the song. Here's the, the life death save. Uh-huh. Uh, Grail and Skull. Uh, I think for Gita's sake, uh, we're going to go with the Grail as Let's you've chosen the, the right side. All yep. right. The so Grail is my side. There we go. And bang. Nailed it. Oh, except I put it down out of camera. What a waste of a dramatic gesture. <laughs> so the mist suddenly billows and there this terrible the temperature drops and this terrible sense of malevolence and death and scraping <laughs> rust uh, uh, ch- uh, ring mail rings rusted rings breaking as this thing squeezes through snapping some more of its bones <laughs> as it hauls itself out through the rocks and uh, upon you with another blush from the past a Draugr figure that Penny painted uh, mm. from back in the day. And it is here and we are rolling initiative. Oh Should my yeah. God. Yeah. I have to I once again know. shift the cat. Uh, Dungeons and Draugr. Got them both. Barrows and Bale. Help me roll, roll dice. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty good. Uh, oh. What am I adding to that? Uh, next step, T, nothing. Uh, so 16. 16, can you roll for your followers, please? Oh, they get a separate one. Yep. Uh, that is much worse. Uh, it's a 10. All right, and let's see if I can get this onto camera. Okay, on is dexterous. The dead fucker. All right, he gets plus one. Right, more the than skull me. dice. The skull dice is an empty threat. That's a nine. Uh, so that just gives ten. So yeah. I'm going off at the same time as the followers. But all of that dragging and squeezing, and then this terrible kind of dead face. You know, looking upon you, and you, as you look into those eyes, you realise that you have become the object of his hatred because mm. you took Thorfinn from him. Make a wisdom insight roll. Sure. I get those at advantage. 
Only if it's a follower of the old ways. Is it about the old ways? Is it about the old ways? Well, actually, I'm going to pay the... I I I feel like this is about the old ways. It is because it's drag shit. Yeah. This guy feels pretty old ways. Well, that is four on that one. That would be 17 on the dice there. All right, you get it as... 17 is, is fantastic. Yes. Uh, and you've already got uh, a inspiration in the hopper, so you can't get another one. As on drags forwards, looking at you, knowing you took four from from him, but in that moment you realise he could have, he's been terrorising them for like a, two years. Yeah. He could have killed Thorfinn at any time, and he didn't want to. He wanted to kill everybody else first. Yeah. And in that sense, you realise, Realize Arn is going to kill everybody you love, everybody mm. who f- follows you, and then he's going to kill you in his sick undead plan. So you suddenly realize I am not the one uh, in peril here. It's everybody around me. All right, you have the initiative. What are you going to do with it? Uh, I'm going to attack him, obviously. Yay! Uh, that's going to be it's going to be order of operations number one. Uh, I'm going right. to stick him with the sword, hopefully. Uh, he is wearing rotted mail and a rusty iron helm, which gives him an armor class of 14. Well, that's a 13, so I missed that first one. Yeah, curses and, and damn, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm going to be soft and give you advantage because he is squeezing himself out between a barrow and you've been uh, waiting for him to stab him in the face. That That uh, is better. That is a uh, 21. Everybody in chat, soft. Ah, soft talk yeah. something. Well, wait, wait, yeah, yeah, he's soft until the followers start dying. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just you wait. So, bang. And this is the moment you no mm. blade can hurt Arn. Well, let's He cannot be cut. Arm. He cannot be stabbed. He cannot be hurt. How'd you go? Uh, 11 damage. 11 in strikes and how do you strike him by the way as he's got um as he's coming out i'm just gonna i'm just gonna come straight in with a thrust just Just, straight whereabouts in his whereabouts Uh, or just straight straight to the straight to the straight to like the sternum straight to there okay yeah because he's pretty tall i assume and yeah the blade punches right in and right through and uh he gets this kind of look like if if an undead kind of horror's eyes can widen as you pull it out and like you know bits of livery kind of you know maggots and old bits kind of a dirt comes trickling out you have damaged him that has not happened before uh and he roars and furthermore uh it's a bit of a shock as you punch him in the throat with the very weapon of his shame Mm. made of the axe made of his lies so he has to make a saving throw versus shame uh it's heroes uh, are funny (laughs) no difficulty 20 uh constitution uh saving throw and his con bonus is plus five so he needs to roll 15. okay and he gets a 15 Ooh, what an asshole. But definitely as you kind of stab him, you know, he's, he goes into denial. You know, there's just too much hate in him to have a good hard look at himself. So he strikes. He has a rusty longsword uh, and he goes straight for Heike. Bang! Uh, Heike must make a death, death save. saving throw. Oh, Ten or better. Unless you want to mend him huh. or weave him. Yeah, well. Advantage. Um, Heike. And by the way, the reason why he's going for Heike is because Heike does the stupid young man thing. And goes Says, straight I in. I got yeah. this. Yeah. I got this and, and jumps in front of me yeah. just after I made a successful don't got attack. It. Good you work, don't got buddy. He don't got it for a second. Uh, he, he don't got it. Um, uh, I mean, if I'm not going to use those now, when am I going to use them? Um, <laughs> Which one of your followers is No, no, is you know what? No, he's, you know what? He's being, he's doing a, a, a I'm going to, I'm going to let him, let him, this one stand on his, on his own two Let feet. the dice decide. Oh. No, that's a three. 
Oh my god. It is Thank so you. horrible. This undead thing just looks at you okay. while the arm goes this way, enters the side of Heike's neck, the same blow, and just basically pile drives him into the barrow. Oh. As Miter is like, <laughs> God save us. Uh, that gods. Uh, yeah. So, bang! Awful, awful, awful action. And in that thing, you realize you have you have brought about the death of this young man Damn that it, just Heike. wanted to follow you and serve you and be a hero. And Arn laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. Is he laughing or just like creaking? Uh, Who knows? Uh, uh, I'm spending my inspiration. Mm-hmm. Whoa! You feel uh, some woe, Blades, with at the death of Heike. You have to make a Wisdom 15 saving throw, or the guilt is too much. You can use inspiration on this to say, uh-huh. "Fuck gonna, it, yeah. talisman, baby." Uh, yeah, talisman, and I'm gonna say um, that with with Heike's death, um, which I think right on the opposite side there, uh, Annika probably got a full view of. Um, I oh. think she's gonna put the cry up um, for Heike as we continue to fight. All right, okay. So you're spending your inspiration. I am. Uh, which means you're gonna roll two dice. You're gonna specify your roll waste dice. Yeah, I'm specifying all those dice, dice, and I am not using it. Uh, I'm using the 17 plus stuff on the other dice. Oh, uh, it's the book. Uh, so uh, no mercy for Heike, but the, you know, you have a moment where you almost can't stand it. Uh, it is such a cruel act. And then what brings you around? What's your resolve? It's, 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 Annika. Annika? it's, it's yeah. Annika's, it's Annika's um, cry that um, this is, yeah. this is the life they chose. And, and we will we will do this for him now. All right. So Annika is like, ah, and it's it's time for your followers to act. What are they getting Thank up you. to? This is the point where you can move them around or do whatever mm-hmm. you want. And it must be said because of the way Arn popped out, he hasn't yeah. seen Hilda yet because you had yeah. Hilda on the other side of the. I power. did Hilda. I mean, he's Over probably pretty here. aware of Annika right now, but uh, yes, and as as. Like, she gives this great cry. His head twists in that kind of creepy, I don't need to worry about my neck muscles way anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And you know which way he's going next if he's not stopped. So what are your followers getting up to? Um, Well, I think Hilda's Hilda's going to... uh, Because none of them are going to be able to hurt him because they don't have the sword. That is correct. Which is which is uh, a damn shame. They're good to take a blow. Yeah, Scop and Mitre are not currently. Uh, actually, uh, Mitre is currently engaged because she was yeah. there to stop. So she could take an action to kind of step back. Yeah, uh, I think. Um, yeah, anyone who is engaged, um, I'm going to get them to step back. Um, right. And I'm going to cry um, to me. Only mm-hmm. this blade can harm him. So I'm basically going to get them where they can still kind of shove me out of the way if, if they got up. <laughs> um, you know, like right. if they can stay, cause that's really all they can do. Um, I'll, I'll get them to, I'll, I'll put the cry up of, um, of uh, uh, to me, only this blade right. can harm him and shields up. So basically I want them defensive. So uh, where, where are you sending Hilda to bottleneck him? Is she coming in um, through the barrel on the other side, or is she coming see, out of the next gonna, to He's just he's going to attack her, and there's nothing she can do to defend herself, really. Well, you know that he um, he did love her. He did not attack her. Yeah, uh, uh, twice now. Yeah, I'm going to once I've, when I've she pop- rescued the other people, and once on the mm. beach when she rescued you. Yeah, I'm hoping that her status with my follower doesn't change any of that. So what I'm going to do is get her to bottleneck the other end. Okay, so she she's more or less mm-hmm. entering the barrow. Mm. So, so. Basically just bottlenecking the other side. Everybody else. Um, um okay. your father is dead. We loved you, Arn. 
This is not you. It was not you. Let this not be your legacy. This is not your saga, Arn. Uh, so she's coming in, lighting the torch, and he's he's like, in one second, like he's turned around saying, yeah, I got to pull yeah, Annika's next. head yeah. clean off. And then Annika gets knocked out of the is. way, and there's Hilda. Uh, there's his, there's his, there's his uh, He's wailing in mm-hmm. agony, and you are getting a shot. You don't have advantage now because he's, nope. he's done okay. squeezed out. So his armor class is 14. Good luck. That is a 13 on the dice plus stuff. So I am going to hit him. Bang. And it's a one ah. plus five. Ooh, it's not as good. Five. Uh, five points of damage, minimum mm. roll, but. The shame. The shame. The shame. He cannot stand the shame. Give him another D10. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. It's That's because you you oh, worked it out, right. Alex. You said, I'm going to I'm going to mend the talisman, which is hilarious because yes. a random weird roll gave you the solution to the scenario. He did. Marco is like killing himself right now. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, all How this, this plotting I do. And then just oh, a random roll. Mend random the weird roll. Yep, Nailed talisman, it. got it. It is exactly what to do. Extra D10. So how'd Love that go? to see it. Um, that mm. is a six. Okay. All right, shops in. Meanwhile, Heike, who's still sliding yeah. down the side of the barrel. <laughs> he gets on with his dying. He gets. He continues uh, with his dying. So you uh, uh, is is gonna go to uh, Annika. Oh, There's okay. Hilda. He wails, turns around, and now you are the only person in front of him. But he is now fighting with disadvantage Bring because it, Hilda dude. is there. Oh, uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, and he cannot stand that uh, because of enduring love. With Aww. italics and bold, don't you know? Aww. So Aww. he is wailing uh, a bit sad. and attacking. So his worst roll is a 10, and that gives him a 16. My armor class is 17. Oh, another miss by one. So he has missed. Ah, next. I think the followers now are standing by. Yeah. Uh, getting ready to push. And uh, uh, there's... Kind of Hilda squeezing forwards with Annika behind her. Mm-hmm. Uh, your go, Bladsworth. <laughs> Sword. Uh, that is a N16 on the dice plus stuff. Yay. Uh, D8. Okay. Oh, boy, that's better. I think is that a one or a seven? No, that's a minimum roll again. That's another five. <laughs> yeah, but again, the, you are striking him with the with his guilt. That's another three. Another three. So, okay. That dice over there. All right. Is it anyone? Okay. But he's dead. He's, he's dead. dead and he's awful. Uh, and and he's, like, he's like dripping yeah. and yeah. And so moist he's dude. going to uh, concentrate on endeavouring to murder you with disadvantage. Wailing away. Oh, what a waste of a critical. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, but he, he, you know, he gets that look and he really is going to like absolutely kind of wail into you. And, and Hilda is now crying and she says, my friend, just stop. And he like, ah, like wails again. So your attack. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 14. That's exactly it. That's oh, on the good. money. That's exactly what you need. All right, let me check uh, the shame. Okay. That shame is too great. D6. Shame. D8 uh, plus 4 plus D10. Okay, okay. Uh, 9 and 8. Yep. 17? 17 points of damage. Please? Yes. He cannot stand and this. Cat. All right, and in to touch my face. Dungeons and Dragons fourth edition language, he is bloodied. In this Ooh. case, it's more, I don't know, slimied. slimied. Uh, so you've got him down to half hit points, which means he's got a fucking metric shit ton of hit points. So he does, uh, but he's also 
not attacking anybody except me, so. Yeah, but now the yeah. agony is too much for him and he is basically pushing through. He's going right through you like, oh, okay. kind of don't look at me gesture. As he goes right past you, you get an attack of. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes she just really needs as to touch does, my face. I... As does Cinnamon. That's that's oh, an attack no. I love that she's uh, uh, demonstrating right there. Okay, so that is a natural <laughs> one, but right. I've got two things for this. Okay. I actually have three things for this because of Mida. Um, all right. Well. Oh no, it's attack of opportunity. It? So no, I don't have Mida on this one. Um, however, I do have. Uh, touched by prophecy, once per long rest, when a d20 shows either a 1 or a 20, I can choose to re-roll it and I must accept the new result. Okay. Eh. Oh, that's better. That's 15. All right. Damage. Let's see how the shame goes. No, he Ooh. feels no shame. He feels no shame for this one? He feels no shame. Well, that's a 7. Oh, wait. Hang on. No, wrong dice. Uh, that's a 6 and 4 is 10. All right, six and four is ten. A mighty chop, whap! Uh, you strike hard, and something hits the turf. It is his left hand severed as through he goes, and as he does so, Mida gives a tremendous shriek uh, yeah. as as the creature. Uh, passes by, and as this happens, uh, the fog rises up. Uh, the Shit. grass is slippery, and it is suddenly it's like all the lights come down. You can just see him in the fog uh, as he's uh, going down the hill. The grass is slippery. Uh, are you going to give chase? Yeah, I'm not letting Mida weather this on her own. Okay, all right. Uh, so you can stop and see to Mida, who you heard kind of hit the deck, uh, mm -hmm. or you can follow the monster. Which no, one? I'm following the monster. Following the monster, okay, let's I'm hope she's monster. okay. Monster is away. You are striking at it. I need a dexterity roll of uh, 15, otherwise Whoa. it's wet grass. I'm Ooh. not good at this. Uh, no, uh, that is a six. No, you can't. All right. That. Okay. Well, the, um, the ass plant would be too embarrassing. Uh, but you, you slide, you lose your footing, you spang into a tombstone. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, Crack. either oh. he gets away down the hill, or you tell me which follower wants to engage him. Oh, boy. Um, okay. Oh, <laughs> And Gita is closest. Gita is closest. Um, you know what? I feel like it is Gita, and she is a sword bearer, a uh, shield uh, spear bearer. Yes, correct. Let me just scroll. Mm, yep. Yes. Um, yeah, she's a spear bearer. Um, she can't really um hurt him with it, but certainly she can, she can try and she can engage and try and distract him. All right. So you. Put your follower in. So yep. as the fog grows all around you to a mighty strike to where he Gita. was, you lose your footing, you yell to Gita, and she says... Uh, uh, Nothing. God's <laughs> blood! Really uh, nice. Uh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, she was out of time. She says yeah. nothing. But Joel, if, you, if, you, if you're summoning up your faith in the book, you have to yell about God. It's you do have to yell about God. Pretty standard so god's blood she yells uh actually she should have yelled god's truth or in other words mm. truth uh as she steps in uh and gets in its way stopping it from rampaging down the hill ruining yeah. all my fun and for her crimes against my malevolence make it a death save unless you want to mend it or weave it Hmm. Have I, I've only I've got the two left. You have the two. You haven't used a proper follower save uh, um, inspiration yet. Oh, I feel like Gita actually has, you know, a pretty good a pretty good. Um, she's not hardened like Anna. No, she's not hardened. So I might use. I'm going to use. Um, 
What, are they, what were they, mended or? Mended or woven? You've got to tell me why. Oh. Um, you know what? You I know. think um, I think Gita, she's a Christian woman, but I think her faith might be a little bit shaky some days. You know, she feels as an outcast that perhaps she's strayed too far and, and sometimes doubts her worth in the eyes of God, but meeting another Christian man today and seeing him forge that blade and, and being able to support him as a godly woman in that possibly mended her faith. That is absolutely outstanding. So a death save, 10 or better, two dice. Good luck, Gita. Oh, that's a 19. Wow! Uh, bang! Oh, look, she just can't resist herself. No. Many have tried no. to kill me. <laughs> uh, all right, so Gita stops the monster. You get, you collect your footing and you can clock it as everybody is running forwards. Heck yeah, I'm going to clock it. Uh, and Maida, uh, who just basically got kind of barged out of the way, uh, she, yeah. she's, she's okay. Okay. Um, that is a 14, dead on. 14, dead on. Okay, let me check the shame. Shame. Uh, no shame. No shame. No shame. No shame. Okay. Uh, that's a two. Shameless. Six. Six. All right. Bang. Who will rid me of this meddlesome hero? Uh, uh, and it grows and it grows. Oh, again. And Great. It grows. As a bonus action, the height. The height in arm, the death in him fills him and he grows and grows and grows and turns around and smashes you. Uh, this is where you first saw him massive in size, malevolent. Uh -huh. um, the one good news thing is that Hilda is still here. Hilda is still uh, here. So, Hilda can oh, stay. No, <laughs> I know, good recruit. Thanks, Hilda. Nice. Whew. Love your work. Uh, good, good pickup. All right, here it goes. The seven is not good enough. It spoiled the 18. He strikes. Uh, but once again, Hilda yep. puts him off, saying, uh, uh, just, just You're better than point. your father. Mm. Be better than him. Don't be the man he wanted. Be the man you are. Well, okay, uh, nice. Thank you, Cinnamon. Uh, you're up. Okay, 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 okay. That's a 17 on the dice, plus four, so 17. it's fun. No shame. Shame. No. No shame? No Not shame. Ashamed. Uh, seven. Seven. All right. Okay. Uh, he's huge. He's kind of hulking. And uh, he, uh, Hilda is appealing to him, and then she makes a mistake. Oh no! She says, "I love you," oh, and she no. meant as a friend, it's like a friend. But yeah. actually, when push came to shove, she yeah. didn't. She didn't. But that's not and what she that meant. That is what he's... too much for this hideous creature, and he smashes her. Oh. Now it's her turn to make a death save. Oh, oh death of Hilda's gonna be a, a rock. He's got one. nothing um, on this. You've got a woven. Yeah. You've got a woven, got a woven. inspiration. Um, or net. Do you know what? Right. I want to use I want to use the woven inspiration for, for Hilda. I Why? think I think she's pretty Justify this vital. bullshit. Uh woven. Um I feel like um, if she if she if she does succeed because of this um, because of this inspiration, I feel like um, Blazewith would have pushed her out of the way because she can see in Hilda um, that she could be the a good leader for the village, a good new Yarl, and she could she could weave a new story and be the thread that holds the village together. Every word of that is true. Let's see if the dice agree. So, uh, used up, chewing mm -hmm. through the inspiration. Fuck yeah. Uh, that is an 18. Wow. All right. Push he, out of the way. Oh. he strikes at her and 
She does not dodge it. Uh, she says, she just holds up she her spear, Hilda the spear, uh, and he cuts it right through. And she just says, you're better than this. Oh, he hates that. He's tried to kill yeah, her, it didn't it. work. He's going to go back to killing you. All sure. right. Sure. That checks out. Yeah. Psych. Uh, Bye. Y- your Me. turn. That's not very good at all. Uh, that is a 13. 13. It's not going to do not it. Not a hit. Uh, and the reason for that is because you were busy saving Hilda. So I'm you busy, said you were busy. pushing her out of the way. Uh, well, I, so, she yeah, could have also did. done that and then, like, like hold her out of the way before the yeah, yeah. blade continued uh, on into flesh. Tremendous. Beyond spear and into All flesh. Right. Uh, so, yeah, you mm, you yeah, saved her okay. because her part in this story is not yet done. Uh, you're all out of inspiration unless Scop sings. Sure am. Hmm. Uh, he didn't Sometimes. sing during the... He didn't sing during the uh, the Red Square fight, did he? Nope. No, he sang they last night. All, yeah. all full. Okay. All right. So it ain't over till the young Scop sings. Uh, mm-hmm. And right now, uh, that was me trying to kill Hilda and failing. Therefore, it's your, your strike. Uh, no, I think I just missed on you. Oh, you did? That's right. Yeah, you, I did. I just missed on you. Way too honest. All right. <laughs> Turning back to you. Uh, and uh, smashing down, but whatever whatever hold Hilda had is now broken. She's okay. he's tried to kill her, but he's she's not putting him off his game anymore. All right. Uh, so he's just coming at you and rolling bad. He's rolling a nine, so he misses you. Ooh. It's a close miss, and he's huge, but bang, yeah. it is a miss. Uh, he eats turf on that one. All right, your followers turn. Have they got any um, game, I'm game going, change? I'm going to pull Hilda out. Okay. Yep. I don't want to make any more death saving throws. If she can yep. get back to the village, that would be kind of ideal. So I'm just going to pop yeah, her out so okay. she's not engaged anymore. All right, sure. All right, what do you, um, what do you say, to, say to her? It has to be some quick. I'd, pro- I'd tell her, um, Ursa will kill me if you die. <laughs> All right. Um, that's, so, there's take no a breath. way. There's no way Hilda would leave, right? Yeah. But no, just like, once you take a breath, Ursula will kill me if you die. Once you, once you, you basically, it's all about love. And when you bring up her real love, um, and also Hilda saw Arn make a break for the longhouse, and you yeah. know he's number one on his list. So yeah. fight hard, and she's off. What I would probably get her to do is like, like be not engaged, but like back down the hill slightly so that if he does make another break for it, she can engage. Okay. All right. So she is out of here. Um, okay. Uh, I think uh, I've missed you. So it's back to your go. Yeah. That's a 15 on the dice. All right. No shame yeah. anymore. Uh, let's Ooh. see about the shame. He feels shame again when really? he's he's processing the fact that he tried to kill Hilda and you're getting the extra D10. D8 plus four plus D10. Okay, okay. Um, that was 18. 18 points. He's so big. He is reeling. Bits are flying off him. Uh, he's, he's unsteady. You've uh, hacked one of his... His legs, there's a great splintering of bone and crashes down on that knee. He's not going to be running to the longhouse again. Right? Oh, no. so, uh, uh, lifts the sword high to cleave you in twain. Come on, give me a critical this time. Bring it. Bang! No! Misses! Uh, because you're just... Uh, why did he miss? You tell me why he missed, apart from Q workshop um, hosed me. Well, the the, the change <laughs> in him. the change in angle actually brings him down to my level a lot more and he doesn't have the <laughs> advantage of reach, so I'm actually able to just meet him and parry with the sword right. quite easily. Strike it out of the way. Okay. Any action from your followers or are we going to um, your turn? Is there anyone engaged who is about to have to do um, death save? No, he's he's just now uh, he's finally realized that you are the main event and he's uh Gita is there yeah, but he, he tried to get mm-hmm. Gita and that didn't work out for him uh yeah. Annika's just like at, at your back in case you need it it's, yeah it's cool important. yeah but no it's all about 
hero v monster. Yeah. Um, As I John Watson and Jacob to, Rogers suppose, intended. Yeah, I suppose they'll have to be, will they have to be engaged to do something like rescue the hero or take a blow? Uh, no, they do not. No. Okay. Well, then they can stay unengaged then. All right. They basically Great. just step in to do those things. Mm, cool. Great. Yep. No, no follower stuff. Okay. It's me. It's you. Ooh, 19. 19 is a hit. A bit of a, a weird, weird he feels no shame. No okay. shame. Uh, if you roll a number, he may die. You okay. have rolled the number. He 11. has seven hit points. How 11, does this yeah. end? It's ending. Um, he's he's on one knee, and I've I've <sighs> pushed aside one one strike, and I'll just come back around. Um, and because of the angle and the way I've come through to parry, he's like it's it's pushed him right off balance, and I'm able to kind of cut around to the other way, and just with a really strong cross blow, uh, the head comes straight off, straight through the. <sighs> the undead, rotten sinews of his neck, cleaving his head from his shoulders. All right. Which I wouldn't have been able to do unless he was kneeling because uh, he was very large. Bang, down he goes. Does he stay there? Um, Says Hilda, falling to her knees and weeping. Hits the deck, and as he hits the deck, he shrinks. He shrinks and shrinks and shrinks until he is a young man, dead before his time of murder. Dead. Those glowing eyes on the severed head, which goes two to six feet in a random direction, huh. go out. Uh, four feet. Uh, south. South. Oh, that's towards the village. <laughs> well, then that's that's the last thing the thing sees as down it goes. Mm. Oh. I'm hmm. going to look to Simo. Uh, Simo is down the hill. Not yeah. Simo, um, Scott. I'm going to look to Scott mm-hmm. uh, and kind of just nod curtly like this is this is i, I hope a, a an end to the story that you will be proud to sing of um and before he has a chance to kind of answer i'm just gonna leave him with that i'm gonna take the sword that was forged mm-hmm. by Bo uh over to hilda and um mm-hmm. hold it out to her okay all right i'll um, just, just she, present it to will, her she will take it Thank you. This village has a lot of healing to do. And I think uh, you might be the hero that Harrogate needs now. I will do my best. All right. So everyone's gathering around the corpse and head. What are you going to do? Um, ooh, probably not going to touch that. Uh, probably best for the villagers to to do that. Um, ooh, I will probably... Has he got something that's like an identifiable... Nah, like, a, like a pendant or some jewellery or something that's a bit like I can take it back down without like... Um, yeah, on this fantastic Certainly piece not taking of John Hod- on this fantastic piece of John Hodgson art that uh, the Jackson can dig up, <laughs> the dude's loaded. So good. Like, he's a, so he's good. a very wealthy corpse. I'm seeing uh, an okay. arm ring, a bracelet, two pendants, some well, kind of like golden that. bell, another high arm yeah. ring, and a yeah, it looks talk. like that that talk and the golden bell. Um, I might, I might. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's no head, so it makes it very easy. Um, I will probably yeah. um, take the the talk. Looks pretty, I don't know, mm-hmm. unique, and I will take that with me to kind of prove that you know, okay. Anna is gone. And I mean, everybody can kind of speak to it, but just something something physical to take back down to the village. And okay, so you you are removing them, as is your right, and mm-hmm. as will show. But but Hilda says we cannot leave him lying there. He he should go back to his tomb. Okay. Uh, yep, we'll help uh, get him back in the tomb then. 
Didn't want to touch the buddy, thought it might be disrespectful, but that's okay. If Hilda asks, we'll do it. All right. Okay. So, um, into the tomb. Um, there it is. Inside you go. Um, uh, what, uh, what is, uh, who carries him? How is this done? Um, I think, I think, uh, Hilda, Annika and I will do that. Okay. Um, who, and I will, who brings ask, the head? I will ask, oh, um, I think we've balanced the head on the chest. Logistics. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to ask, uh, Maida. Okay. And um, Gita. <laughs> you said this kind of. All right, Mida's like. No, 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 no. She's. <laughs> they're not going near the head. Mida and Gita are going to take care of Heike and um, of course. kind of yeah. uh, ra- use some cloth strips that we've got to wrap him, wrap his body up, so that we can take okay. him back to the boat and give him a good old um, Viking funeral. So All not Viking right. because you know none of those guys, but you know. All right. So you carrying on with his head upon him and into the barrow you can see the the tomb from whence he crawled um there's a stone sarcophagus it is split open and there are grave goods in there 15 pounds of grave goods uh finely crafted drinking horn pendants brooches rings coins the the wealth the treasure of four Fernand's line which has ended here Mm, that does suck. I I am I I know we need to get paid for this. Um, I would rather just straight up ask the villagers to pay us than to rob Arn's grave, given that we're here with Hilda. Mm. Uh, and and it, it's funny. Here's Annika who's saying we need to get paid, but she's not she's not producing a sack and filling it. No. So your your instinct she's is right spot to on. remind me. But as as Marco writes. Um, uh, if you take treasure, you're stealing from the Earl's family and grave robbing is not heroic. You already Absolutely knew that, Alex. Not. Absolutely Blades not. I, is not a grave robber. Kilda is right there. She's um, a grave she might be, filler. you know, I feel like I feel like she's probably a, a grave robber in the in the you know distant wastes where the line has ended a millennia ago. <laughs> but you know, all right. This is this is the Hilda's right there. Well, you can uh, place his body his is head, so juicy. Place yeah, very, very, and, and in fact, it's really getting fessy now. Yeah, like it's whatever weird necrotic kind of hatred was holding it together. He definitely now it's just necrotic. No more hatred, just necrosis. Yeah, oh, good. Quick, quick, get it in, get it in the sarcophagus before it melts. Before it melts. Smelling bad. Uh, yeah. But Hilda says, "Rest, my friend. You were." Uh, better than this she puts her puts his sword on his on his chest and and you leave him and you go down the hill bearing your own dead the valiant mm. hikey who tried to save you without ever understanding you don't jump in and save the hero don't you do what the hero says and there's annika and gita once again Going back to the boat, the only ones to have survived every single monster you've slain. Yeah. All right. So down the hill you go, down to the long hall, uh, and there's Simo with the two warriors. I'm gonna hold the. Oh, yeah. you did! Oh, come on! <sighs> You know, I did hear that there was a Leviathan out to see. Um, to... Now you're talking. Oh, did you cut off its head? I did. Oh, good. It won't rise again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their usual, a usual conversation with them. <laughs> that's that's exactly what the old ways follower knows, and you've yes. already done it. You've done it already. <laughs> so oh, yeah. into the hall. Who goes in first? Bladesworth oh, it's Bladesworth. or Hilda? Uh, no, it's Hilda. I'm going to send Hilda in first. I'm just going to be like, oh, in you go. All righty. Okay. Um, um, oh, we can walk in together. We'll walk in together. All right. That's a big uh, door. It's a big hall. So 
Simo bangs it uh, with the weird. He does this kind of uh, they do this kind of double elbow pop 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 on the back of the door, yep. the the, yep. the the symbol, and uh, the door is opened from within by Ursa, and there you are trying to like. Well, the heroes were just striding oh, they're just in. Gonna, yeah. And then there's just, uh, Ursa just crash tackles Hilda. Yeah. They're rocking. Um, <laughs> okay. And so huge hugs. Just like uh, that. Ursa cannot speak to you over the top of Hilda's head because Hilda Which is taller, fine. but she leans around the side and she says, All right. Uh, but all arising and Frode say, What has happened? Arn has been uh, put to rest. His spirit is quieted. The monster is slain. Um, Hilda is, it would not have happened without Hilda and her her bravery and her, her steadfast nature and her wisdom in seeing the pieces of Arn that were left within the monster. Uh, but he is slain. We have uh, lost one of our own. Uh, but the the deeds of Heike and his loyalty will be sung sung of for many generations. Okay. Now, when you were um, giving that speech, uh, you were talking about Hilda a lot. Was that a "here's your yarl" kind of gesture? Was that? Yeah, it was. A, it was kind of kind of like a if you hadn't already considered. <laughs> for your consideration. For your consideration, like, yeah. Like, Best you know, we were up on the hill. Like, I don't, I don't know the town well enough to suggest, like, Frode seemed like he might have, he wasn't down with all the bullshit that Thorfinn was doing, so maybe he would be a good Yarl. I don't know. I just think uh, Hilda would be also, and I can only speak to what I know. All right. So you you have spoken, and... And it's true. For- it's she may like not be. Frode is puffing up and uh, Ursa says, she's the best woman I know, but it took another great woman to take action and not just do nothing while all around us died. She's looking straight at Frode and that's the point where Frode realises he's, he's cooked. Yeah, uh, um, because I think it's I probably, true. I think I probably will say to Frode, um, um, the village will not forget how you tried and how you how you stayed with the Jarl and, and, and tried to be a, a voice of reason in this village. No one will forget uh, that. Uh, but an advisor, that. you know, basically throw, saying, you know, you're a good advisor, dude. Like, don't say yourself da- short. Throw down a persuasion, difficulty of 10. Okay. Negative. No, that's a four. Uh, six. Um, hang on. I must have a six here. No, it's an eight. All right. Okay. Uh, so. Hey, Scott can sing. <laughs> oh, he can. All right. <laughs> uh, so that's the point where Scott. I, I look at. I look over at Scott and I'm like. Uh, <laughs> Please. Listen. Heroes are made by their deeds and they are undone by them. If they act but do not, their deeds are not the truth of what they say, then that is a lie which does not sit and poisons all around it. Action must be taken, firm action. When we see those fail, fail to lead, fail to save, we need a hero. And it's clear he's talking about Arn and also talking about Frode, who's done fuck all for two years while Thorfinn drank himself. Uh, so you're getting two inspiration back and you are getting an inspiration on that roll. So throw another dice down. That's uh, a 14. Basically, basically um, saying to Frode, you, yeah. You're obviously not yarl material. You know that, <laughs> but you did do your best. Like you weren't yeah. you weren't on board with Thorfinn's bullshit, but you were loyal to him. And you know, I, if you can be loyal, be loyal. I am sorry that I have failed you all in being loyal 
to a man who had no honour. And Hilda, you should be our Jarl and I will advise you as best I can for you are the best of us. But everyone's pretty pleased by that. Um, because Bo's come around, he and Gita have bonded. Uh, and, uh, and now the sword, Hilda takes the sword. Remember how there's an empty sword rack in the mm-hmm. back of the hall? From the she axe. takes that and she hangs it there and she sits and says, let us drink to Arn and to Heike. Drink. And Scott says, now you're talking. Yep. <laughs> and Finally. it is a grand party. Uh, and uh, in uh, Hilda says, and in the morning we will go back to the barrow and we will reward you, Bladeswith, for all you have done for us. We appreciate that. Um, right. And there is... We drink. Gr- that's, that's, it, it's like all the tension has gone. Um, any anything you wish to say that night? Um, I feel like I feel like Blazeth is is kind of a very a very serious person most of the time. I feel like with the with the drink and the partying, and now that the poll has gone and the deed has been done, um, I feel like she is the always asking for another poem, another story, another song, another like. I, I feel like she's very interested in hearing about everybody else's lives and she wants she wants everyone else to tell her story like come on where's your family what? from how did you come to her again tell me you know, right. what happened at the festival for like this many years ago uh, so... why is that hot blue like she's just <laughs> infinitely curious about about all the all the stories of the world so uh, we can kind of imagine the scene where everyone keeps trying to look to you, but you are looking to them. But Scop never takes his eyes off mm. you, and he knows and he remembers. Um, so that is the story that will be blazed with, but there will be that, lots of footnotes. That is the tale, and Simo is like, well, remember, got a leviathan to hunt in the morning. My death will be terrible. Sliming. <laughs> um, and and around the, the mead is raised and, and there are great hurrahs. Listen, that is the woman. Sorry, I have to change that again. Listen, that is the woman that she was. That always the f- sharp sword, the swift strike, but always for others never for herself and it's a different hall it's a different place altogether people are dressed differently and there's an old scop who's been telling this and you're now just a person in the crowd alex you're just any npc you want to be right now uh and that is the tale of bladesworth and um a woman in the crowd raises a mug um and and cheers um tell us another scop um and she is she is battle scarred old older than most warriors become um and she is she's got one hand and a, a mug of ale in the other right fantastic and also there is a teenage girl who's just hanging off every word and it's it's like she's grown like three inches just hearing these stories, and 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 she says, "How do you know? How do you know?" And the old man says, "Because I was there." All right, and gives Annika a wink. All right, that is our tale. Thank you, Alex. Ah, oh, that was so much fun. Oh my god, ah. we are done. Harrogate is out of horrors. So. Uh, Thank you for playing. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for running. That was that was very extremely tense at the end. I yeah. That there was a indeed. lot of choices to make, and I was not sure I'd made all the right ones. And we're now going to have a preview of next season on Beowulf. Next season. I know we've barely finished the story, and I'm talking about. Can't wait for this. You no wait. one can wait to this as we tell the story of the wolf child yeah. played by unfiltered art 
art sensational player and our dear, dear friend, and they will bring the wolfiness into this angry 12-year-old frame and the followers are all wolves, so I'm going to be have less dialogue than you do. It's going to be so good. I, oh, I looked at that character and thought, that's too hard. No. <laughs> um, and I'm just, but, but I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so excited to see art do it because they're just, they're just amazing. I cannot think of anybody else I know who could pull off this, this particular character. I'm just, right. I cannot wait to see it. So that's season three coming. And I can't wait, me personally. Yay! Oh, I wasn't on mute this time. Oh, my goodness. Yay! I started speaking. Well I looked down and thought, oh, I'm on mute. And no, I'm not. <laughs> no. Wow, what a game. That was the epic conclusion to Campaign Coins playing Beowulf, Age of Heroes, horror at Harrogate. The horror is no more. But there will indeed... <laughs> Be more horrors coming down the tubes. You heard it first. Uh, yes, Beowulf Season 3 as such, uh, featuring our good friend Art. Um, but if you can't wait that long to see Art in action, maybe you should tune in this uh, very Sunday where we'll be back with our Shadow of the Demon Lord game oh, yeah. with these two fine... I'm pointing the wrong direction. These two fine folks plus Art uh, plus myself playing, playing Shadow of the Demon Lord... Um, I mean, almost about the same time, about now-ish, but on Sunday. Um, actually, weirdly enough, it's um, actually, daylight, oh. daylight savings kicking in. Oh. So it's all out of whack, but we'll get oh my God. Better find yeah. us on Twitter and Facebook and maybe follow us there and uh, check and subscribe <laughs> on YouTube. Funnily enough, YouTube is where you can also see uh, previous episodes of Shadow of the Demon Lord and catch up on the uh, Horror of Harrogate if you came in partway through and a previous uh, Beowulf Age of Heroes scenario as well. It's all happening. Um, all good places to catch up. We have been Campaign Coins, makers of fine metal tokens, uh, including tokens for Beowulf. You can see such offerings at campaigncoins.com, indeed campaigncoins.com slash Beowulf if you want to see those shinies. Um, what else? We were hearing some um, tunes from the Beowulf Age of Heroes Horror at Her uh, Beowulf Age of Heroes soundtrack plus sounds and music from Sirenscape. There it is. And uh, since we're bringing it home, clear credit where it's due. Beowulf Age of Heroes was written by John Hodgson, David Ray, and J Jacob Rogers, and it was published by Handiwork Games. Horror at Harrogate was written by Marco Rafala with art and graphics by John Hodgson and Paul Bourne. And what a game it was. I think that was everything I needed to hit. So, like uh, huge, huge shout out to Marco. What a what a wonderful cast of characters. Yeah. What a gift. And uh, I, I uh, yeah, respect. Great scenario. So good. Fantastic. So with all out of the way, I think I'm going to go to bed. But yeah. uh, we'll see you on <laughs> Sunday. Idea. And then, of course, stay tuned for announcements for when the uh, tale of Beowulf continues past that. Yeah. Uh, also, um, Cinnamon and Biscuit shout-outs. Yes. Like, you know, thank you, Cinnamon. Biscuit. Thank you, Biscuit. Show up today. Uh, yeah, biscuit, biscuit wasn't around. Cinnamon, as always, needs one to be one. involved. And, uh, yeah, I'm out of dog tonight, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good guys. night. Amazing. See Good you night. next time. Bye.